All right, class, this is mandatory listening. So if you're listening to this, you're in the right place. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of three videos, which is going to fully explain everything you need to do to get an awesome mark on your summative. Um, the first thing that we'll be doing on Monday is our TED Talk um, oral interview. This is going to be two parts. Um, so I'm going to talk about the first part first, and then I'll go into the second part. I need you to watch this TED Talk by Barry Schwartz. It's about the paradox of choice. And what I'm testing here is your listening to understand. Um, and this is something that is part of the curriculum and needs to be tested. So as you listen to this interview, I want you to take jot notes on the answers to these six questions. In the oral interview, I'm going to pick three of them and we're going to have a conversation about the TED Talk and I'm going to assess your listening to understand. So you need to have all six prepared, but we're not going to talk about all six because time is limited. So um, you are going to get a mark for this. The other thing we're going to do in the second half of your oral interview is we're going to go over your literary essay. Um, since it's worth 10% of your mark, I really don't want you to mess it up. <laughs> and generally, when people mess up their essay, it's because they don't actually have a thesis, or they don't have direction, and a lot of those problems can be fixed in the first paragraph. So what you're going to do in your other five minutes with me is you're actually going to read me the draft first paragraph of your essay. So I'm just going to go there. Um, so if we go there, um, all of the summative work is going to be open to you. So it's not quite open yet. I'm just going to go this way. I don't like that little table of contents -y thing. So um, all of activity or unit six is going to open at the same time. Don't ask me why it's called unit six because I deleted all of unit five. So um, voicing symbols of freedom. This is the essay. The essay is going to be due first, so that's why we're dealing with it first. So there's some awesome stuff about essay structure here. You're going to do an active and passive voice quiz here because I don't want to see any of that, that bad grammar in your essay, just to remind you. And then the assignment is here. All the goodies that you possibly need to do this um, essay is here, and you've already done a couple of mini essays for me, so we should be good. Um, you need to do an essay mapping handout. This is like a rough draft of your essay that's going to be submitted to the Dropbox. You need to peer edit someone else's essay. So this is going to be handed into the Dropbox as well, this checklist of you peer editing someone else's. So you're only getting the marks of your peer edit on someone else's. So as long as you peer edit someone's, it's all good. It doesn't matter if your essay doesn't get peer edited. Um, so what you're going to do is if you click on this essay mapping handout, it will walk you through what the introduction should look like. If you need help with your thesis, if you need help looking at formatting for MLA, all the goodies are here. So let's just open this essay mapping so I can remind you what an introductory statement for an MLA essay looks like. And as the essay at this stage is very formulaic. Um, as you get good at writing essays, you can stray from the formula. But the formula ensures that you're not going off on tangents, that you've got equal levels of examples and explanations. Um, so stick with the, stick with the essay mapping um, for th this assignment, please. So three simple things in paragraph one, which you're just drafting if you want to make changes or anything like that. That's totally okay. We'll discuss that in our interview. So you're going to read me your lead sentence, then you're going to read me your thesis, and then you're going to read me your directional statement. And what is this essay about? Hmm. You are writing about freedom. So, um, I think it's in the content actually. Here we go. So, uh, I want you to write about either freedom or oppression or both. So here's an example of a thesis. In various literary works, the authors use symbols to underscore the central theme of oppression. So this essay is going to be about oppression and symbols. Um, you should have it um, as two layers. So you shouldn't have a thesis that's just about oppression. 
there is oppression. That's not really a thesis. Ha in order to have a great thesis, you need to have two things interacting with each other. So maybe it's setting, maybe it's characterization. Think of those, um, maybe think of those things that we studied in the first unit when we looked at um, short story elements. Um, maybe it's plot, conflict. Um, maybe it's something else. Maybe it's like the use of metaphors and similes or rhetorical devices. Um, but what you're arguing is about freedom, oppression, or maybe the interplay between freedom and oppression. Uh, you can use any of the um, works in this course, and I will even allow you to use um, the work from one other source. So something that I haven't necessarily read. You need to cite it just like normal, but if you want to do two works from this course and something completely different, that's okay too. Um, I like to mix it up a little bit. So. Um, hopefully that gives you some ideas. So just to review, um, when we do our oral interview, we're going to spend five minutes talking about the TED Talk and the, some of those questions. I'm going to ask you three of them. We're going to spend five minutes talking. You're going to read me your introductory paragraph so far, uh, just the first paragraph, and we're going to talk about if you look like you're on the right track. You'll also have a chance to have me on the phone to ask me, or not on the phone, on Google Hangouts to ask me any questions that are burning in your brain, and you'll spend the rest of the day drafting your essay and or your visual essay. So this is just about the TED Talk and the essay. There will be another video about the visual essay.